and a warm welcome back to my channel. Uh, if I go into Google and I put into their chemistry internal assessment, I wonder what we see. This one, peak study resources, 50 ideas for your chemistry IA. Let's have a look and a critical eye on some of these ideas, which are obviously freely available. Investigate Casey, great. Weak acid, strong base. Determine the Ka. Not sure what we're going to change on that. We could change something and do that. Okay. Enthalpy change of redox. Like it. Simple voltaic cell temperature concentration. Nature of the electrode. Okay. Um, not convinced. Gas laws. Uh, copper using color. Copper in coins. You can Google that. Don't like that. Uh, seaweed for bromine and iodine. Again, what you're changing. What are you changing? Can't see that. Calcium carbonate in brown and white eggshells. It's a mandatory experiment. It's mandatory. Say tomato, tomato. No. Vitamin C, please no. Uh, hardness. Mm, if they're going to give a bar graph, bar graph's no good. Speed of neutralization uh, from different sources. That's a rate thing. Rates potentially, but it's very basic. Kinetics of bromine clock. Yes. Uh, factors affecting electro electroplating is a nightmare. Um, there's the starting mass, there's the end mass, there's the bits of uh, precipitated metal which have fallen off and gone to the bottom of the beaker. Um, there's the fact the concentration changes over time, the fact the temperature changes over time, control variables, dependent variables are a nightmare. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Percent chlorine uh, in different bleaches or swimming pool water on different days. Days, days is not an independent variable. Um, you could do it in hours, I suppose. Maybe, maybe I'm being too harsh. Enthalpy of neutralization is minus 57 kilojoules per mole. No. Activation energy, iodine clock, like it. Effective pH on the rate of rusting. Rate is good. pH is good. Yeah, quite like that. Calculate KW different temperatures. It's in the textbook. No. Heat of combustion, potentially very easy to get 10 out of 24. It's not very high level. Uh, unsaturation is on the label. No. pH of soil is just a Number, what you're doing with the pH, no. Uh, prepare and test buffer solutions. If investigating buffer capacity on a system, yes, but just making a buffer solution, no. Investigate heterogeneous catalysis on the activation energy of a reaction, potentially, but if you're just saying it's decreased, no. Hardness of water affects solubility, that's good. KSP, common ion effects, all that, good. Uh, changing pH for oxidation of T. I don't know how you're going to test the products. Could be colorimetry, but then you have the specificity problem. How do you specify that you're actually looking at whichever flavonoid you're you're looking at? Uh, chlorophyll soil pH on chlorophyll content. Keep it chemistry. There's a danger of it being biology. Enthalpy change of thermal decomposition. Look it up. Google it. No. Uh, iron in a tablet. Never. Um, <laughs> solubility value in water by plotting solubility curve and comparing the solubility with its literature value. I quite like that. Effect of temperature on that. Solubility, that'd be good. Length of a salt bridge has on the dip surface. The length of a salt bridge, I'm interested to know. It's to be very quick. I'm not sure that's 10 hours. Uh, a factor in influence in retention in paper chromatography of amino acids. If you've got some ninhydrin, if you have, great. You've got a UV visualizer. Brilliant. Could be, potential. Calcium content of milk, no. No checking labels. Concentration of biodiesel from fruits. Biodiesel has been mentioned as a dangerous area to go into. If all you're doing is saying this is the energy from, I don't know, strawberries, and this is the energy from mango fruits, uh, no. Energy density of fuels used versus the bond strength using the database, potentially, but if that's just raw data without any processing, why bother? It's not an IA. Concentration of zinc in a dietary supplement, do not check the label. Again, variables affecting water absorption polymers. This is getting diapers, taking out that. Uh, polymer in the middle and measuring. It's all a bit raw data. I don't see the processing. No. Rate of evaporation of liquid with respect to its temperature. If you enjoy watching paint dry, knock yourself out. I don't see that being high scoring. Effect of different sacrificial metals on the rusting of iron. The more reactive, the more it will dissolve, I guess. No. Uh, investigate the rate of absorption of organic acids on charcoal. So there was two grams or half a gram or six micrograms. No. Raw data. What are you doing with the raw data? Nothing. No. Investigate the factors affecting the colours of transition metal compounds through the use of a colorimeter. They change colour due to the uh, charge density, the nature of the ligand. We know that. It's on the syllabus. No. Iodination of propanone. Yes. I like that one. 
I've used that one myself. Equilibrium position and LCP spectroscopically, yes. Iron 2, iron 3, thiocyanate, yes. Investigate catalytic abilities of different transition metal and metal oxides. If it's going to say magnesium oxide this, copper oxide did this, lithium oxide did this, no, it's not. It's not continuous data. Continuous data. Investigate the effects of solvents in paper chromatography. Well, the more soluble, the further it will travel. No. Prepare semesters. Why? How do you prove you've got them? Why? No. KSP, good. Good simulation stuff on that. See my uh, Chem Collective simulation video. Equivalence points. No. This is in the textbook. No. Investigate the esterification of soap. If you want to make soap, do it on the weekend. Nobody cares. Knock yourself out. No. And don't use it on your human person. Investigate the effects of different ionic salts on the freezing point depression of water. No. It's in the data. It's in data booklets. We can even as easily do this. So I'd say there was about 15, 20% hit rate on that one. Okay. Next. Next on the list, we've got the Science Codex. Let's have a look. 23 out of 24 this, apparently. Let's have a look. Number two hit when you put it into Google. Here's my 23 out of 24. It scored 23 out of 24. Did it? So this is potential for plagiarism. If I can find it in two seconds, the IB knows that it is there. Okay. Um, be very, very, very careful about being inspired by anything you find on the internet. If you are found to have been plagiarized, nil plat, zero points on your IB, fail the whole IB if you plagiarize, steal somebody else's work. So activation energy, decomposition hydrogen peroxide by catalase. First of all, whoa, catalase, very much a year eight practical. I'd hesitate. I'm looking at this, this. I'm looking at this. Arrhenius, okay, that's nice. Data is okay. Standard deviation, standard deviation here is not appropriate, not appropriate. Not for chemistry IA. Rate, I've not done the calculations to, calculations to look, but I assume that that is correct. Um, that looks okay. The graph, mm, can't see the error bars. There is an R squared value, which I suppose is okay. It is in K. Got random systematic error. Conclusion, strength, weakness is pretty lame, pretty weak. Um, and extensions, wow, that is not a 23 out of 24 IA. Beware of what you find on the internet. 20 IB chemistry ideas guaranteed to score you high marks. You can tell from my body language, I'm already disappointed. What's it going to say? Determine the molecular formula of an unknown salt. It's on the label. Testing VS EPR, shapes and bond angles of molecules. Yes, potentially, but if it's just raw data, no. We need processing of the raw data you find to test the research question that you have got. Examining trends in bond enthalpy. Guess what? They're in your data booklet. No. Energy content of fuels. No. It's on the label. Concentration pressure on the rate. Okay. Might let you have that one. That one, okay. Effect of surface area. How are you going to control surface area? Do you have a Russell sieve, which will shake to different micron particle sizes? If you do, look at you. We don't. Effect of temperature on rate. Guess what? Gets hotter, goes faster. Mm. But the systems that are used, if they're not something which is of IB level chemistry caliber, you're not going to get high marks. Find the activation energy. Put it into Google. It's there. Indigestion tablets. It gives me indigestion tab indigestion, the number of indigestion tablet IAs I see. Iron in iron tablets. This is on one of the top five hits when they put it into Google, still telling you to do this, which has been said in every examiner's report, do not do this. Iodine in salt, it's on the label. No. Vitamin C, no, it's categoric data. No, no, no. Electroplating, I've already said no. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Isomerism using polarimetry. Okay, I'll let you have that one. Synthesis of a compound, proving you've made the compound. Are you ever going to get pure aspirin in a school laboratory? Making soap? No. Soil analysis? Maybe. Effect, but what are you changing? What are you changing to give different amounts? And how are you proving specificity to a phosphate ion? How? Mineral content, categoric data? No. Ah. Winkler method, yes, we like the Winkler method. Analysis of pigments and dyes. You're going to make it? You're going to say you made it? What have you changed? Oh, 
That was it. So, no, yes, no, uh, no, 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 yes, no, <laughs> no, 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 oh, the half. Um, I'll give it the second half. And surface area, okay, no, uh, no. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, three. And on the hit list of sharing with chemistry internal assessment ideas from the lovely old world of Google, we have this thing called Classify. Classify, oh my God, I can't believe this actually exists. This is free. And here are some IB chemistry IA examples which people have shared. I am assuming that this number here is the grade it was awarded. Um, I'm looking, and uh, it scares me deeply that this is so um, abundantly available to me as a teacher, um, and certainly to, to kids as well. Um, I'm certain that all these are bona fide previous internal assessments, just looking at the screens. I've not actually clicked into any yet. We'll just have a quick look at one in a short time. And um, if I find them, the IB know them. And if the IB have had them, they've been scanned into their plagiarism checking system so be very very careful about the level to which you are being inspired let's find let's find the top one this is iron 3 chloride kc uh with thiocyanate it's a common ia uh topic oh now you can pay oh, i see it contains two out of seven pages so it is a paid service on here i'm suggesting do not uh do not subscribe to this um if you take any sentences from here they will be found out you cannot be guilty of plagiarism ignore it move on and next on our beautiful list we have chemistry tutor.me ib chemistry ia ideas 50 plus and um it does say it's a oh, it's good it says it's demanding aspect it is a big fat disclaimer these ideas only that's good do not copy directly from the list i completely agree okay so we're on to a good start um, secondly, some projects are just plain bad. Uh, but okay, they're honest. Uh, reasons include RQ is just a title, agreed. Unfocused, unclear, agreed. Unimaginative, agreed. Okay, we're on to a good thing here. Um, determining waters of crystallization, how does water temperature affect it? Sosa. Vinegar concentration, it's on the label. Aspirin in tablets, no. Drug formulations, you cannot hope in a million years to get anywhere near the validity, the specificity, and the uh, reproducibility of an industrial pharmaceutical laboratory. How do I know? I used to work in one. Ain't no way. Measure pH, no data processing, no. Make a drug. If you've ever, um, I'm talking legal ones here, if you've ever tried to make a drug in a chemistry laboratory, it is labor intensive. It takes hours and hours and hours. If you're lucky, you'll get some white crystals. If not, you'll get some brown crystals. If you're very unlucky, lucky, it will be black sludge at the bottom of the beaker. I would always advise against any uh, synthetic organic chemistry for IA. Maybe you disagree. Put it in the comments. Investigating acid base. And that buffer capacity is a good thing. I've mentioned that already. Okay. Calorimetry. Okay. Okay. It's, it, it can easily be done badly, is my hesitation. Yes, you can score well, but it can easily be done. Uh, Hess's law stuff, comparing and contrasting different routes to the same overall entropy of reaction is a good, strong IA. I like that one. Heating and cooling, can you get in there delta G? Can you get in there entropy? There's a scant amount of detail for a very good reason. I agree with these guys. Actually, it's, it's a pretty good website, to be fair. Um, determining iodine number, you could, but what's the effect of changing what on the iodine number? Uh, rates of substitution, I've used this myself. Follow it by colorimetry, silver nitrate, off you get. Beautiful. Uh, drugs hydrolysis, that's good. Effective pH, I like that. Measuring pKa, half equivalence point um, of difference. Now that looks like categoric data. Poppy's red cabbage, I'm not convinced. Um, measuring rates, yes, rates is a rich area for internal assessment. Assessment, the clock reaction, yes. Colorimetry, yes. Enzyme activity, so, so make sure it's chemistry. Don't stray into you're drawing pictures with labels and uh, structures. It's not going to get any marks. If you're talking about enthalpy and entropy and Maxwell-Boltzmann and all the things in the IB syllabus, then you get the marks. 
calcium content of food, what's the effect? What are you changing? I don't see what you're changing. This keeps coming up. You're not changing something and look at the effect of that change on the result. It's not an internal assessment. Analyzing food minerals now. Databases, lattice enthalpy and computational chemistry. Uh, both of these ideas are on the IB teacher support material. Nothing new there. Uh, electroplating, I've discussed that. I've discussed electrolysis. I'll try to steer away from it. If you have a GC, if you have a gas chromatograph, I must confess, yes, we do, then Gibbs Free Energy are great uh, little uh, internal assessments and they're high scoring. Um, again, the, 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 the nappies thing keeps coming up, the diapers thing. Uh, just a concentration, concentration of nitrate in soil affect the mass of water that smart polymer hydrogels can absorb. Concentration, mass of water, is mass mass processed into anything? Is it just raw data? If it's raw data, we don't need to. Microscale, okay, uh, Molecular modeling, I like that. Um, as you know, I've got videos of WebMo on my channel. Thanks, John Chewy again. Uh, photoconductivity, that's good. Attack activation energy, great. Polarimetry, wonderful. Uh, pressure. I stay away from the gas laws, but those don't. I stay away. Redox titration, vitamin C. Um, yeah, you need to be changing something to get the result. And the result cannot just be the raw data. It needs to be processed into the final uh, data, which will answer the research question. And linking those things together is often the main challenge of any internal assessment. Analyzing wine. Uh, they've chosen Rioja. Uh, I had a student use a different um, origin of wine this year. Uh, and the Ripper titration. Have a look at that. That's good. Caffeine determination. It's on the label. Caffeine extraction. I did or I didn't. I'm not convinced. Uh, spectroscopy. Um, if you have an IR, an NMR, or a UV, you might have a UV or a color, UV vis, perhaps spectrophotometer, then anything in there, be a Lambert law, all that stuff is, is good. Uh, spreadsheet calculations. If you're using a spreadsheet, that's great. You can use a spreadsheet. Let's see if I've well, over half of internal assessment now. Uh, synthesis, I stay away from that. And, uh, you know, there was actually a pretty high hit rate on chemistrytutor.me. Finally, on our little list, you can see there are many more, but I think you get the gist of my thought processes on what to include and what to exclude, which is the point of this video. Our tutors, um, 2019 to 2020. Uh, so this has not been updated since 2019, but it does have a lovely thing at the bottom. Saying, after being contacted by a frustrated chemistry teacher, it wasn't me, whose students were copying ideas. Well, they will, their students, from this list to use the IAs. I'm, the, these are ideas only. Thank you. Starting point, source of inspiration, exactly what I say on my awesome ideas for internal assessments. Do not copy. Students should be aware that some are in unsuitable. They are. We'll have a look why. Students should be aware that it's their responsibility to give a suitable title. It is. So don't copy just these ideas. Why not? Vitamin C, again, calcium content, again. Found in molecular mass of washing soda. Where have we seen this before? On the previous website. Caffeine content, absolute zero. Hydrated salt. Percentage of iron in tablets. How many websites have said this? Kids can be forgiven for copying it, but they're still going to get terrible marks if they do that. Concentration, no. Check the label, no, no, no. Just more of the diapers are back again. Um, Winkler method, yes, yes to the Winkler method. Uh, investigating fluorescence. If you have a spectrophotometer, good knowledge of uh, fluorescence and phosphorescence, all those different mechanisms. Uh, light effect by copper sulfate, no. And then these are just these are just chemical reactions. They're not well. There's nothing wrong with the chemical reaction, clearly, but they're not a, an internal assessment. Determine delta H neutralization. It's minus fifty five, minus fifty seven, depending on which website you look at. Hess's law, yes, like that. Investigating cooling packs could be possibly, but it's not what you do; it's the way that you do it. Another you know song. Glow sticks. Mm, hesitate. What are you changing? What are you changing? The color of the glow stick. That's that's categoric. No. Denaturing lipases is biology. Hydrolysis of aspirin, potentially, yes. How are you going to follow it? What processing are you going to do with the data? Okay. I could go on. I don't need to. I think you can see exactly where I'm going to go with all of these now. But there are enough examples within this video for you to make a strategic uh, choice when you are planning your research question. And often, don't forget, the research question is not step one. Step one is investigating the literature. Step one is looking at what you're interested in. Step one 
it's finding what you actually love about chemistry and exploring that. The reset question may well not come until you've actually written your evaluation. Because your evaluation is to match what your research question is set out to do. Maybe you went down a couple of blind alleys. Good. Record it. Reflect on it. Because that's what we want to see. Reflection on the process. We want it to be your process, your internal assessment, and your mark that you get at the end of your course. And we all hope you get a seven. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, smash that subscribe button. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>